everybody and welcome back to my next video. Today we'll be learning how to make a game called Coin Collector, which will involve variables, buttons, and even keys on the keyboard. Using the keys, you move your cat around to collect objects such as coins. And each time you collect a coin, you get another score. Increases it by one. And then once the time it reaches 30, you're out. And you'll see what score you make. So, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to become the Scratch Master, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Now, to get, let's get started. Let's press Create. But, but remember, you need to log in. If you don't know how to log in or sign up, please watch my video about how to sign up. So first, we're going to go in and name it Coin Collector. And let's go in and get, like, get ready. Let's get the sprites, costumes, and sounds, and backdrops. We'll start off with a backdrop to make your game look much better. Let's get one from the library. Let's find one we like. Let's click the forest one, or the jungle, or the Jurassic. One of these three will be really good. I'm going to choose the forest. Now I'm going to convert it to vector so I can edit it easier. But it's only one whole thing. And so you can't erase. But let's go back to coding. And this time we will not be deleting the cat sprite, but we'll be naming it. I usually call my cat sprite Scratchy Cats. And now, now that we have that, let's go on and make the other sprite. Let's name it Coin. And let's start off by making your own coin a yellow circle. And let's make the color saturation and brightness 100, the color 16. And then hold shift while making a circle to make it perfect. And then using the plus, not on the keyboard, but on this sprite, Put it in the middle. I'm gonna make it bigger so it's easier to edit, but we can change the size in here over here later. And let's add a small outline that's gonna be black. Brightness is gonna be zero. And thickness is gonna be four. Make sure to select the object. It can be four or five. Now let's collect the square tool or the rectangle tool. And now let's make a rectangle. Don't don't hold shift this time. And let's make it the right size. Let's put it right in the middle. And then shrink it down to make it inside. And make it really thin. And let's get rid of the outline by pressing this little red line. But you can't see it. And we want to be able to see it. So let's select it again, and change the color to a slightly darker brightness. And there we go. We have a coin, a Nintendo looking coin. Now that we've made the coin, let's make it a look tad bit smaller, like 50%. And let's make scratchy cats, like 80. Because we need to make let them move around a lot. It may look pixely there, but full screen, it's completely fine. And we've got our costumes. We don't need this costume at the moment, but we're going to leave it there. For the coin, at costumes, we just made the costume. Let's go on and name it coin. But we have to go to sounds. Pops in here, but we don't need the pop. We're going to delete that and choose another sound from the sound library. We're going to choose and sound effect. And if you see collect here and coin, whichever one you prefer, you can choose that. I'm going to choose coin. I'm going to make it a little bit faster. And now that we've got the sounds and we got everything ready. Are you excited? I hope you are because we've finally done it. Now, 
coding time. First, let's make it where like the player can actually move the cat. Because right now, if you click the green flag, nothing happens. There are just two sprites and a backdrop. So let's strike four of these win space key press blocks. And let's change the drop down to one up arrow, one down arrow, one left arrow, and one right arrow. Now let's go to motion, which we actually selected the stage, which this happens all the time. Pretend I did not do that. When space key press, let's track four of those out from events. And then let's go to motion. And let's drag two change X buys and two change Y buys. And let me explain what these do. The X is up left and right, and then the Y is up and down. You change X by 10, it goes left. But if you change it by negative 10, it goes right. And the Y is up and down, so if you change it by 10, it goes up, but minus 10, it goes down. But the arrow keys don't work at right now, so let's click the drop down and let's do up arrow, down arrow, left arrow and right arrow change x by 10 that's right change x by minus 10 y by minus 10 is down change y by 10 is up and change x by minus 10 is left and now i'm going to go to full screen to test it so i don't move any objects and if you test it, it looks fine but you can't collect the coin yet all you do is go over it. So here's what we'll have to do. We'll have to go inside the coin and code inside there. So to event when green flag clicked forever. It's gonna do whatever is in here forever. If it's gonna touch the cat, which we go to sensing to make it have that if touching scratchy cat or whatever you named it. It's gonna change the score by however many, which that brings us to make a variable. Let's make it now. Explain what a variable is. Variable is like a box storing information. It's like when you ship something, you put stuff in the box, you store it, or if you need to store something, we're gonna store the score. Right now, it's not storing anything; it's storing zero. But if you put numbers in it, it's storing them and it's storing it but we can take stuff out if we need to by putting the minus before and we can show the variable and we can hide it and you can set it if you need to set it to a certain thing and let's go and delete the my variable because we do not need that if you have any questions about variables, ask me in the comments below, and you, your video may be a question. So if touching Scratchy Cat, it's going to change score by one, and it's going to place sound coin until done. Go to sound, coin is right there. Now, move around. It's doing it endlessly. It's not going anywhere. So that brings us to another point. Let's go to motion. And we're not going to use the go to a, a space. We're not going to use the glide. We're going to do a go to random position when the green flag clicked. And like that. So now let me click the green flag. It's good. Except. The score keeps on going on and on and on and on. And that brings us to another point. S variables don't automatically reset to zero or go up automatically. You have to tell it to do something every single step of the way. Let's go to the backdrop to code something. Let's set score to zero when the green flag is clicked. There we go. Set it to zero.
but we need some kind of more really challenge. And that brings us to another sensing. This timer, if you check the check mark, it appears, but it's not a variable. It just keeps on going up forever. And if you press reset timer, it'll reset. And now it brings us to this forever. If which in operators, operators involve so much math, like we talked about earlier in the videos. We're actually going to use it. This is a greater than this number. If this one is greater than two, if you click it, it'll tell you if it's true or false. But three is greater than two. It's going to be true. This is just the opposite. So if we do three and two on here, it says false. But if we do two and three here, two is less than three true so we're going to use this greater than if timer is greater than 30 then here's what this here's what is going to do it's going to broadcast a message to these other sprites it can broadcast to any sprite in the whole field it's going to broadcast stop and hide all. When it stops and hide all, it'll stop those scripts and hide all. And in control forever, it's gonna reset timer. Which the forever reset timer just it just keeps it at zero. And now let's go to here and when I receive an events, let's try this. It'll broadcast it, basically sending it a signal do all the sprites and if it has a win at receive it'll turn on this code it is gonna do this it's gonna hide and forever it's gonna stop other scripts in the sprite so it can't move at all which we go control go down and drag to stop all but stop all will stop everything in all sprites Let's click this drop down and do other scripts in the sprite. Let's test this out. If you do it forever, nothing happens. But it'll hide just so the cat can't move. And now, let's drag this to the coin. And let's do the same thing. Let's test it out. Let's broadcast stop and hide all. And it'll stop and hide all. But we have to show it at first. So let's go to looks and put a show when green flag clicked. And let's drag it to the coin sprite. And there we go. You made your own game. Now, this is a game you can challenge your friends and see if you can make the highest score. You can get your first best friend over there, tell them you made a game. And tell them how smart you are for making a fantastic game and challenge them. And you may be just the one to beat them. I wish you luck. Thanks for watching the video. Like this video if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to become a Scratch Master. Bye. And check out my new intro. Outro.